Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Josh back with another one from Keep It Techie, the channel where we break down Linux tech and all the cool ways to level up in the IT game. And today's video is one of those bittersweet ones. We're saying goodbye to a distro that's meant a whole lot to a whole lot of folks, and that's Orco Linux. Now, if you've been in the Linux space for a while, especially on the Orch side of things, Orco Linux wasn't just another distribution. It was a whole movement, a university, a workshop, a toolbox and a community all rolled up into one. So in this video, I wanna reflect on what made Orco Linux so dope, what's happening with the project, how you can safely transition your system back to Orch, and finally, just share a few thoughts of my own. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the deal. After eight years of building, teaching, and supporting one of the most educational Orch-based distros out there, the Orco Linux team is officially stepping away. The lead maintainer says something that hits hard. He's approaching 60 and he realized that he's not operating at the same mental pace anymore. So instead of letting things slowly fall apart, he decided to go out strong while Orco Linux is still solid and respected. And I gotta respect that. That's integrity right there. And this isn't just the end of ISO updates. The entire ecosystem is being shut down. So no more Orco install, no more Corla or ALCI, no more Orco tools or custom scripts. All ISOs, branding and infrastructure will sunset by July 1st, 2025. But here's the good part. They're doing it the right way. They've got transition packages so you can migrate your system cleanly back to pure Orch or Orch plus chaotic AUR if you still want that AUR binary goodness. And honestly, this whole thing really reminds me of when Interagos shut down back in 2019. And for those who don't know, Interagos was my intro to Orch Linux. I mean, that distro opened the door for me and showed me you could use Orch and still have a great out of the box experience. So seeing Orco Linux go down a similar path, it hits home. Now this is the farewell message and I'll put the link down in the description of the video if you guys want to check it out. And I know a couple of other YouTubers have already covered this. I just wanted to cover it as well for my audience. But let me walk you guys through a removal and cleanup of Orco Linux to get it back to a pure Orch setup. All right, so I'm logged into a copy of Orco Linux. This is the XFCE desktop. I want to walk you through a couple steps to help you clean up your system and remove all the Orco Linux repos and maybe some of the branding if you want to or some of the packages that are on here. If you want to clean it up and just get it back to pure Orch. And so if you're already using Orco, you don't need to reinstall. All you got to do is do a little bit of cleanup. So the first step is really to do a backup of everything. So you want to either use time shift or sync or whatever you prefer to do backups. I always recommend you do that whenever you're making changes to your system like this. So definitely do a backup. Now, the next thing is just mainly making changes to our Pac-Man config. And this will allow you to remove those Orco Linux repos. They pushed out a new Pac-Man config if you bring your updates on your system. So let's just run sudo. I always use nano. You can use whatever you want, whatever your text editor is. I'm a fan of nano. I've always used nano. I like Vim. It's cool. So let's go into our Pac-Man config. And what I always say when you're messing around with configuration files, you always want to make a backup of it. But this system I'm not keeping, so I really don't care about it but you always want to make backups of your files especially configuration files under etc but what you want to do in your pacman.config you don't want to touch your core core is your main orch repository and then you got your extra that's another orch repository and then your multi-live for 32 bit applications those are your orch repositories and if you don't have your chaotic aur repository then you want to add it in here because a lot of the Orco Linux software, there are binaries for them in the chaotic AUR. So you want to add that there if it's not already there, but here are your Orco Linux. And this is what I meant by they pushed out a new config file because this wasn't here before. I remember the last time I looked at Orco Linux when I did a review on it, I would say about a year ago. I know for sure this wasn't here. It says remove these last lines once they produce errors. And the reason they put that there is because they know they're not going to be updating any more packages after the date that they're going to shut down these repositories. So it'll start 
showing errors when you run your updates. Pseudo Pac-Man, SYU, you'll get updates for these repositories. So you want to just go down and comment these out. It, let's say you want to go down and pre preemptively get these turned off on your system just to get them back to pure orch. Then you can just comment these out if you want to. So you can just comment them out and then eventually you can delete them. I recommend you comment them first and then over time you can go back and delete them after a certain amount of time. That's what I recommend, but save that, save your config. Cause let's say you want to roll it back. You can always roll it back by uncommenting those lines to get those repositories back before, what is it, July 1st, whenever they shut down those repositories. So let me save that. And the next thing you want to do once you make those changes to your Pac-Man config is to run sudo Pac-Man and then dash capital S and then YY and press enter. And this will refresh those repositories. And as you can see, I know you can't see because I didn't run it beforehand, but it would have normally shown those Oracle Linux repositories as well. Now are your core, your extra multi-lib and the chaotic AUR are there now. So that's the only ones that are there. All right, so let me show you guys something right fast. And this will help you tremendously on removing a whole bunch of packages. And that is Pac-Man Contrived. If you haven't heard of it, let me show you guys how to install it right fast. If it's not on your system, most likely it's installed on your system, but you could type pseudo Pac-Man. I believe it's included with Pac-Man now, but just Pac-Man Contrived is basically a couple of scripts that assist you with updating mirrors and searching packages and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys it right fast. It should be installed already, but we're gonna run it again just to see, yeah, it's already installed on the system. So if you don't have it, go down and get installed. And let me just go to the man page for it. I believe it is a man page for it. Let's see, yeah, it's no, it's no manual for it, but let me see if I can go find it on the internet right fast. All right, there we go. So this is, a readme for it that I was able to pull up. But as you can see, these are the scripts available in the repository. There's one that I want to highlight and that's pack list. And as you can see, it says list all packages installed from a given repository. It's useful for seeing which packages you may have installed from a testing repository, for instance. So that's an awesome tool. Now I found out about this command because I was trying to rank my mirrors and then I just started looking through it and seeing what all these other scripts do. And so this is an awesome little tool you want to have installed on your system. So let's switch back over to our virtual machine, but let me show you guys how to actually use it when it comes to removing packages that we don't want. So let me clear the screen right fast and let's just run pack list and then let's try it's yeah, this not going to work. I think I might have to add those repos back in order to get it to show because it's not going to show. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back into our ETC file. So nano etc and then our pac-man come let's go back in here right fast so i probably shouldn't have removed those first but let's go back in here right fast and turn back on these repositories boom boom let's save that and then let's run sudo pac-man dash s y y press enter refresh right fast and let's run that pack list again it'll show you all the packages that were installed from that repository and the other one i believe is underscore third or 340 i believe yeah there we go so i installed yay from over there okay so i did i installed a bunch of stuff over here from this repository as well the third 41 or linux login background so it's a whole bunch of packages that i installed over here so this is gonna probably kill my system a little bit by removing all this stuff which is fine it's fine i did do a lot of installs when I installed Orco Linux just to test it all out. I wanted to put a whole bunch of stuff on here, like themes and stuff like that. So I could show people what Orco Linux was all about when I did the review of this operating system back then when I was showing it off. And yeah, it's got a lot on it. But let's say we want to remove everything from that repository, like the first one we just did. So I'm going to just press up arrow and we're going to use this pack list with another command. And that is the pacman command to remove packages so we could type sudo pacman and then dash or and then we could put a dollar sign in there and then we could put this command in parentheses so put that in parentheses and then also we could pipe this into op. i've seen that done or i've used that in the past as well you could type op and i don't know we could print it out let's see what is how you type this again and i think we got to put yeah, a single quote at the end. And then what is it? 
difference. And I'm sorry, I'm having a brain for it, trying to figure it out. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's that should be it. Yeah, so let me go down and run this. I'm gonna just run it right fast because I don't really care about this. I got a copy of this virtual machine somewhere else, so I could just clone a new copy of it. So not really tripping about it. Yeah, and it'll go through and remove all those packages for you. And that's all based on the search that we created. So the pack list, Oracle Linux, a repo. And actually, I'm not going to remove it because I don't want to remove it and destroy this. Uh, and it's not really destroying it. It's just removing all those packages that we don't want on the system no more that deal with Arco Linux. So anything under that repo will be removed. So it doesn't matter if it's under that repo, it's going to remove it. So I'm going to type no because I don't want to remove it. I'm going to just leave all that stuff there. But you can do the exact same thing for the other repo. So let's say we want to remove everything from that third party repo. So let's do three port and let's go down and run it as well. And ah, so this one is going to really mess up some stuff. Yeah, it's going to break dependencies. That's why. Yeah, that's another reason why I didn't want to just run it because it might break a bunch of dependencies. Yeah, so we're not going to run it, but just check your system. But some of this stuff is not going to be updated no more. So you might as well remove it and find replacements for it. But this will get you back to pure Orch and you can replace these applications with whatever applications you want to use from the Orch repository. And then this will safely clean out all Orco specific tools, themes and packages from their maintained repo. Just be careful with the ones that break dependencies like I'm showing you guys right here. Now, one of the other things you want to do, and I'll just list it out, but if we go ls and i'm gonna go dash la and this is after we go in and remove those those repositories again after deleting all the packages that we don't want on the system then you can go under etc and then under pacman.d if you go into that directory and i'm gonna just ls this directory so you guys can see what you want to do is remove the Orco Linux mirror list. So you just want to remove that. They even had a chaotic mirror list, Endeavor OS mirror list, Reborn mirror list. You can leave those there, but just remove the Orco Linux mirror list. I definitely recommend you remove that and then do a final system update, like running that Pac-Man SYU. And that will clean up your system after that and get rid of all the Arch branding and all that stuff. And you'll have straight or it's Linux at that point. And one thing I might do, I might invest a little time and create a script before June 1st that I'll put out there on my website that'll allow people to download it on your Oracle Linux install and it'll just run through and clean up all this stuff for you guys. But let me be honest, this one's personal. Oracle Linux was never just about flashy theming or throwing a desktop on top of Orch. It was about teaching, about helping people understand Linux not just use it. And that's something I've always tried to promote here on the channel. They gave us over 5,000 plus videos, a DIY ISO builder, deep dives into window managers, Pac-Man scripting. Man, they went super deep. It was a full-blown curriculum. So to see it all sunset, yeah, it's the end of an era, but it's also a new beginning because everything they taught, is still available. The code's still online, the videos are still up and you, the user, are now equipped to build your own path forward. So whether you stay with Orch, jump into something else, or even build your own ISO one day, you've got the skills now. So yeah, y'all, this one's for the Orco Linux team. Thank you for all the years of service, all the hours on YouTube, the forums, the Discord, and just helping people grow. You created more than a distro. You created a generation of learners. And to the viewers, if you've ever touched Orco Linux, learn from one of their videos, or just want to share your story, go ahead on and drop a comment down below. Let's give them the proper send off. And as always, like the video, share with all the Linux users out there, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep learning, and of course, keep it techie. Peace, y'all. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. 
and the resources are out here for free and yes you heard me free now yeah it's gonna take effort you'll have to grind but think about this the time is gonna pass anyway so why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life i mean tech doesn't just pay the bills it opens doors to freedom stability and generational wealth so stop doubting yourself store small stay consistent and keep building because this isn't just a career it's a movement and guess what you belong here so let's get it because the future is yours to build keep it taking